Dr. Jen Ashton joining us live from L.A. today. This, first of all, how are you doing before we get into all the day's developments? I am doing well. I miss you guys, but we're truly worldwide today, aren't we? We, uh, Yeah, but you and I are the only ones that aren't somewhere else in the world. We're still <laughs> stateside, but that's all right. Uh, but yeah, miss you here in studio. Certainly wish you were here with us today, but we are tracking today's development. Let's take a look at the big number. So the big number today is 63%. Well, the plunge, it's been a nationwide plunge now in the demand for PCR tests nationwide as case rates continue to fall. So there is some good news. But speaking of worldwide, we're taking a, a view here of something going on in Hong Kong now having to do with COVID-19 and what's happening in Hong Kong. Look, we have good things to report, Dr. Ashton, from all over, certainly the U.S., but there are still some spots worth keeping an eye on. A hundred percent, TJ. And I think if we've learned one thing over the last two years of this pandemic is that we have to keep our eye on multiple countries at the same time and multiple infectious diseases. So when you look at Hong Kong and what they're going through right now with COVID-19, they are battling a new record surge in their cases. As a result, in response to that, they're expanding what they're calling their vaccine bubble. So we know what that is, um, which is requiring vaccination at places like malls, restaurants, supermarkets. At this time, their hospitals are pretty much hovering around 95 percent capacity. And it, as a result, thousands are fleeing to mainland China. Remember, Hong Kong has what they've called a dynamic zero COVID strategy in place. And clearly, because of Omicron, it's not working. All right. Well, Dr. Ashton, you're also keeping an eye. We have an outbreak of avian flu you keep an eye on as well. Avian influenza, the strain H5N1, we've heard about this before, but right now in the United States, there are at least five states that have detected cases in wildlife birds. The concern is that it could spread to chicken and turkey. It did spread um, in the state of Indiana to a turkey farm. Uh, the risk for spreading to humans is low, but if human beings get this strain of influenza, it is very serious. So uh, USDA and the CDC keeping an eye on that. All right, as you are keeping an eye on all things. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.